Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's France, and they take on Australia. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope to see some great football today. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. And up front, Karim Benzema plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the contest begins. Will France be a hit or a miss? What do I mean by that? Well, when they won in 1998, everything was rosy in the camp, but they were dumped out in the group stage in 2002. They were runners-up in 2006, and then they completely imploded in South Africa in 2010. How about this time as holders? Well, they've got some great players. They've got an experienced coach. I think they've got good team spirit. So I think they're better prepared this time. I think they've got every chance, first of all, getting through this group, but also going on and winning the tournament. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Makes his way in field. Textbook defending inside the box. In behind for him to chase. Shot attempted. Keeper getting the touch. Corner coming up. Going short. Boyle. It's Jamie McLaren. And he read it well, intercepting it.
once moving the ball forward what can they do from here well didn't go to plan in the end and up for an Australia throw in and no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper good win and Irvin on the ball and he takes on the shot really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing Now sending it in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Aaron Moy. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Aaron Moy. Could be dangerous take the lead here and they have you've got to say it has been coming well let's see this again the vision to play this through ball is superb and it makes the striker's job so easy all he has to do is make the right connection it's a lovely goal And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, Karim Benzema has been a top striker for so many years, but even the best have days when it doesn't go to plan. And this has been one such day. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. And back underway with France looking to find a route back into this game. Mbappe, well he really read that brilliantly McLaren and now passing it through Aziz Behic very quick thinking there can they do something positive on the counter attack all hands on deck and a chance to level it Really good. In it goes! At the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. A level contest, 1-1. McLaren, good win. Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Can they forge ahead? They do, and you've got to say they're good value for the lead.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So back underway. Will there be a response from France here? Chouameni. Benzema. Gets it a go. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Whipped in by Griezmann. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will they profit from this situation? And players waiting in the centre. Fruitful looking attack. Moy, splendid defending and it needed to be. 15 minutes left for play. Mbappé. Mbappé! And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Devlin. Ten minutes to go. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Hernandez. Here's Mbappe. Lucas Hernandez. Radio. Aurelia Chuameni. Can they grab the lead late on? No nonsense clearance. Clean challenge. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Now, who can he play it to? Mbappe. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought both teams were very positive, though, going hammer and tongs from the very start. And I think the draw is probably the fair result. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, he should be on the winning side after that performance because he was outstanding, especially in front of goal. But his team defended so poorly today.